welcome back to the channel everyone on today's video we're going to be discussing generational wealth and we're going to go over how exactly we can create it for our future generations when people throw the term generational wealth around it kind of puts an image in your mind and it puts an image of a bill gates and elon musk these billionaires who have an infinite amount of money who have already set up future generations as far as the eye can see you can't even imagine a generation of these people's family where they're going to be needing for anything and that's fine but i'm more concerned about the average person people like you people like me i want to go over how we can create this wealth for our future generations up on the screen i have the dividend calculator from the website tipranks.com I'm going to put an initial investment amount of just under $10,000. This amount was chosen because this is an amount of money that most people can afford to invest. It's it's not nothing. It is still significant, but if you save, you can you can come up with $10,000 if you're in North America. It is very possible. Um, you might have to alter your spending habits, but it is 100% possible you can do it. So that's why I chose this amount. Now, we're going to invest this whole $10,000 into TD Bank stock. Okay, so we're going to buy 100 shares and we're going to let it reinvest itself for 30 years and not touch it. We are going to contribute no additional funds after the initial 10000 Okay, it's a one-time thing. It's on uh, autopilot after we make our investment. The current dividend yield is 3.57%. The expected annual share price increase, I entered 5%, and the expected annual dividend increase, I entered 5%. Now, both these numbers are significantly lower than what they have been in the past. I'm just doing low, low numbers to show you a conservative estimate on what we can expect in 30 years. In fact, over the past 25 years, not including uh, 2022 to 2020, TD Bank has increased their dividend 11.3 percent on average per year all right so that is a huge CAGR and uh, it's well well above the five percent that I'd entered for this calculation so after 30 years of investing our ten thousand dollars into TD Bank stock we're gonna have approximately four hundred and four thousand dollars in value and we're gonna receive an annual dividend income of fifty two thousand dollars per year now I don't know about you but if 30 year old me received this from my parents four hundred thousand dollars in in stock and fifty two thousand dollar year salary just from dividends this is this is generational wealth for, for me okay so you can see how easy it is to set up your future generations you can see it, like anyone could do it people choose not to do it they buy fancy cars they do whatever with their money that's fine it makes them happy but you can you can invest for the future and it's not that difficult now, I understand it's very hard to conceptualize how $10,000 turns into 400000 over 30 years, but you can plug in the numbers yourself. You can use any dividend calculator, and you'll see they are accurate. It does turn in. You can follow year by year. You can see your dividend income increasing. You can see that you start off with $10,000. Uh, 0.3 after one year of dripping and then after the 10th year you're already at 23,000 so the snowball keeps going down the hill and collecting more and more income for you and you can follow year by year the numbers do add up this is all 100% correct everybody try it yourself and you'll see that we're getting $52,000 in dividends at the end it is absolutely amazing in this example we use TD stock I mean I wouldn't put absolutely everything to one stock you should diversify your generational wealth portfolio yourself um, I can give you a couple suggestions if anybody wants some but TD Bank is one of the best bank stocks it's a very very good one to have it's if you're gonna make your generational wealth portfolio put in TD Bank they're in a really unique position for a Canadian bank in that they get close to half of their income from US retail so that it's it's going to be a very large growth factor for them going forward and you know some of the other canadian banks such as one of my favorites cibc does not have that present in, presence in the us so td is a great uh, choice to put some of your income in i hope this video really illustrated how easy it is to create generational wealth if you're just looking at ten thousand dollars that can't even buy you a honda civic right it buys you half a civic you know i just use that amount because most of us can afford to invest that you can invest a lot more and you can get much more returns, all right? So you can just play with the numbers yourself and you can see them skyrocket. But you just need to talk to the, your future generations about this money. They need to understand the sacrifices that you've made to earn this money and to leave it invested for them. 
Just handing a 30-year-old um, a $400,000 portfolio and $52,000 a year in dividend income, they're not going to use this responsibly unless you give them the knowledge. You need to let them know about the sacrifices that you've made to earn this money and to leave it invested for them. They need to respect that. You know, tell your children that they need to read the financial education books that you've read. They need to obtain that knowledge. They need to work for themselves as well to learn how valuable money is, how much time of your life that you traded to earn this money. They need to respect it. So, you know, set your children up financially and set them up with an education, a financial one. I want to throw a thank you out to one of our subscribers, Lawrence. He kind of brought this whole idea of generational wealth as a topic for a video up to me. So uh, shout out to him. He's got a few children and uh, we're just talking quickly about setting them up for the future. So that's that's kind of where this video came from. And I hope everyone took a little bit of knowledge from it and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.